you are the object of creation. You are the purpose of creation. This is where beauty comes into place. But Jesus said, what shall you copy the man? He gains the whole world and gains his soul. I could know the value of the soul from the lips of Jesus. The whole earth is not as important as one soul. Yes, you are excelling. You are a success in the name of Jesus. Today on the day but of salvation practice. Purpose drives your life like fear, patrol. Did you hear me? What is vision? Vision is what I see myself becoming according to my purpose of living. Vision is what I see myself becoming. Praise the Lord. Get ready for a life-changing experience with the Word of God. Get your family and friends to listen to the Word of God that brings salvation. Jesus is Lord. On the program today, I will give details on how you could get our free salvation gift package and how to become a blessing to your world from where you are. But first, let's join Reverend Edmonds, Word Day, and the Day of Salvation team. Hello and welcome to the Day of Salvation broadcast. Jesus is Lord. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 10, verse 38, how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. It was spelled out why God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and with power. It was wonderful. Now, in every ministry that God has given approval to function and to run and teach his children on the face of the earth, there is a vision for every one of the ministries. For Paul, he said, I have appeared unto you for this purpose, to make you a minister and a witness for those things which I'll show to you. And for Peter, it was the same. And then, and then every one of the apostles, they all had to witness Jesus. And when Jesus calls anyone and starts any ministry, approves any ministry, the ministry have to have a vision. Now, we're going to be showing you our Vision Day telecast, our Vision Day message. How, uh, why did God allow this ministry to run and why, what vision is He given to us? It is awesome. It is beautiful. And I pray that as you look into this message, that the, the Lord will speak into your heart for you to have a vision for your life. Every one of us are supposed to have a vision. Do not allow what obstructions and things that you're passing through to be uh, uh, a hindrance for you. Do not allow your situation that is just for a moment to distract you from your vision. Don't allow money to be a hindrance for your vision. Don't look at money. Money is the cheapest form of power. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and step out and do whatever he has told you to do. Trust him. This day is our vision day a telecast, our vision day teaching, and how we taught the people how to see vision for their lives, and how God has given this ministry a vision, and what is the vision all about. I'll be back to pray with you, and whatever you're passing through, we'll join our faith together. From this studio, we will pray and declare the word of God and you'll be free. I'll be back to pray with you. I have a wonderful treasure, the gift of God without measure. We shall travel together, my Bible and I. I mean, beautiful you. You should have a beautiful week. The week should not have beautiful you. You know, when the week have beautiful us means we just, we just don't know how things are happening. We cannot control things, you know. We went here, this just happened by chance. When did this happen by chance? We are not people of chance. Are you there? Yes. We are people of faith. We are not people of chance. We are people of yes. faith. God is good. Today is Vision Day. Say it. Vision. One more time. It's a day when we celebrate the vision of this ministry. It's a day where we remind ourselves why this ministry was founded and why God uh, placed this ministry where it's located and why you are here. It's a beautiful day.
Amen. We were talking about mastering your senses, so we're going to make a pause on that. We're going to place a pause on it, and then we're going to continue that maybe on Wednesday or you know the services during the week. But now we're going to talk about the vision, the vision, the vision. Today is Vision Day, Vision Day. So come on, let's turn our Bibles to the Book of Habakkuk, chapter two. Habakkuk chapter 2. Let's look at verse... Let's read from verse 1. Habakkuk chapter 2. Miracle working God. is a miracle working God. is a Alpha and Omega. is a miracle working God. One more time. is a miracle working God. is a miracle working God. He's an Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle working God. Hallelujah. Is he not a miracle working God? Yes. Tell your neighbor what you are feeling right now. That challenges your faith. Is a miracle seed. Preach it, preach it. It's a miracle seed. Yes. No, we preach it, it means we proclaim with power. You know? What you are facing right now that is not pleasant. That is like it's challenging, questioning your faith. Is miracle seed. Is what? Miracle seed. Is what? Miracle seed. That confusion that you have. That you seem not to be able to make the decision. <coughs> is just opportunity for a miracle. The Lord will put light today. And you'll be able to see clearly Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you love Jesus? Yes. Then keep his word. <laughs> okay, let's read from this one. <laughs> oh, you thought I wanted to say some other thing, huh? <laughs> Come on, let's read from this one. Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Are you in Habakkuk? Yes. From this one. <clears throat> uh, chapter 2, right? Okay, let's read uh, verse 1. I will take my... I'm, I'm reading the BBE. It's very clear. I will take my position and be on watch, placing myself on my tower, looking out to see what he will say to me, and what answer he will give to my request or protest. You see? I'm looking out what he's going to say. A lot of people go to convention looking out what's going to happen. A lot of people go to church services looking at what's going to happen. As a matter of fact, we sing, Something good is going to happen. Something good is in store. Yet. <laughs> you know? But look out for what he's going to say. For he spoke the world to being. Did you hear me? He spoke the world to existence. It didn't happen in the world. He spoke. The word. So the wise Christian will always look out what God is going to say. Because what he says has house in it. What he says has car in it. What he says has husband in it. What he says has children in it. When God speaks, things happen. So don't look for the happening. That is the result of what God has spoken. Look out for his. Word, what he will speak. That's what Habakkuk said. So I will place myself in the watch. I'll be looking out. I'm not looking out who's going to say, I'm here. Mm -mm. I'm looking out. Be here in Jesus' name. I'm looking out for that word. Once I catch that word, I stand up from my sickness and disease. Can you say amen? amen. Does it matter how you are feeling in your body? This service will end that embarrassment in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus. So he said, did you hear what Habakkuk said? He said, I will position myself. I will, I will start watching. What God is going to say. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, verse 2. And the Lord gave me an answer. Ah, did anything happen? No. He is speaking. He is? The Lord gave me an answer. I said, put the vision in writing. And make it clear on stone. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, 
vision day today. You must understand the vision of this church so clearly, so that you can run with it, so that you can live in it, so that you can do your own part in it. God did not send you here to occupy a position of a chair. God did not send you here to warm up the chair. Are you listening to me? God sent you here for a purpose. God sent you here for a purpose. And this morning as we celebrate the vision day of this ministry, you begin to see it clearly in Jesus' name. And the Lord gave me an answer and said, put the vision in writing and make it clear on stones. Today we talk about tablets, you know, it first started with <laughs> Abacoc and Moses, <laughs> tablet first started there, but then theirs was manual, as digital, okay? He said, put it on stones, make it clear on stones, so that the reader may go quickly. You see, he didn't say the reader may read fervently, the reader may go, action, tell the neighbor, action. action. Say, after the will of God is known... Action is required. One more time. After the will of God, action is. One more time. If I know by whose stripes I was healed, if I know that I say I refuse this fever, then go, you can come here. I'm a no go area. Hallelujah. Then go, I'm a no go. Area. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dango can touch me. If he touches me, ah, then I think this is Dango testimony. <laughs> what do you think? If it, if it ever touches me, then I will give a testimony. But I'm healed of Dango fever. Are you there? When Dango touches a Christian, it does not touch the Christian to kill the Christian. When we lose motion, Stomach upset, fever touches the Christian. It does not touch them to kill them. It touched them to show by whose stripes you were healed. Amen? Because you say, I am light of the world. I am light of the world. How can we, do, how can we see the light if there is no darkness around? Sickness is darkness. Healing is light. Are you there? And so, because healing is light, health is light, then, if, I didn't say it should, if sickness touch you, ah, it's because you are light. Now, shine. Now, shine. tell anybody, now shine. now shine. One more time. Now shine. One more time. Now shine. Say in your stomach, shine. shine. I, if I say this one, none of you start laughing. Say so in the toilet, shine. <laughs> no, but is it not true? Do, no, do we have any uh, break where we should not shine? No. We should not shine in the toilet? We should become dark in the toilet? No, come on. Hello, saints. It's, uh, I told you you would laugh. No, but it is not funny. In the toilet, you don't want to be a Christian. <laughs> I, mean, I want to ask you. In the toilet, you don't want to be a Christian? Huh? Uh, somebody is a Christian. <laughs> he didn't even say, I want to be a Christian. <laughs> We're not Christian. In the toilet, don't you want to be a Christian? Yes. Tell your neighbor, be serious now. In the toilet, shine. In the toilet, shine. Hallelujah. You see, you see when we say, in your board meeting, shine. He said, oh, in your board meeting, shine. He said, in the toilet, toilet. Yes. Hallelujah. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm watching out what is going You're watching Day of Salvation. Stay tuned. Apostle Edmonds will be right back. Husband means he expects, uh, he, his expectation, he expects respect. Many women ask that problem. You may say, I respect my husband. Some people, the day they got married, that is all. They feel life has finished. The few women's life is grow, 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 mature, grow all the things necessary in the body to grow out, and you give it to one man, and immediately you give it to the man like sense. I can't wait to tell my sisters that you have a purpose with God. You have a purpose in this life. Find it. Marriage is not the end. Bearing children, marrying somebody and bearing children, is that the end of you? Samsung manual hand out for Nokia. Nokia will crash soon. If your marriage should not crash, 
you have to get to the author and this is what very less teaching has been done in marriage where they you 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 know god's plan so what is your plan what is your idea about god's plan to a third person how do you give report about your husband that shows how much you respect him behind into a third person how is your husband talking about you can your husband tell boldly that my wife respects me my wife trusts in me my wife cares for me and she understands me if a man can say that report outside you are a very wise woman Hello, I am Reverend Edmonds Okoroye, and I'm glad to introduce to you our daily devotional titled "Daily Blessings of Salvation." It's a beautiful book, and um, I want you to get it. I want you to call and order now with the numbers on the screen, and we will send this to you. It's a wonderful book. This edition is "Get Ready." Jesus is coming, and in together with the daily devotional we have a bible reading plan and we also have confessions and prayers inside and it's released every month it is released 31 day study on several topics we have rise and be healed now we have get ready jesus is coming and we have purity walk and walking with god holiness and all that it's beautiful book my wife and i joanna and i I want you to have this book. I want you to call now using the details on the screen. You will be blessed every day. You spend time in the bus, in your car, at home, in your living room, reading and studying God's word on a daily basis, meditating on the verses that is given. Your life will never remain the same. Call now and ask for your copy, and we'll rush it to you by sending it on post. You will never remain the same. God bless you. You're watching Day of Salvation. Welcome back. Let's see. What's the Abba Cox say? He said what he said. I write it down quickly. He said then, so that when they read it, he didn't say they would learn it. People always learning, always studying, always learning, always studying. They are learning this new revelation today. Tomorrow they are learning this new revelation. Next tomorrow they are learning this new revelation. Go, the BB BBE translation said, so that he that reads it will go with it. We what? Action. What are you doing, Sister Susan? I'm studying the power of God. <laughs> what are you doing, Brother Ryan? If you see the revelation I'm getting, in Sister Councilor, I mean, <laughs> your salary will press itself. <laughs> No matter what you say, go. Tell your neighbor. No matter what you say, go. It's action, right? People are always learning. Always learning. January to December. See, we we we'll soon get to December. Always learning in the church. Big, big pen they have. Their pen is very big. Always learning. Always writing. Always learning. Their own jotter now is bigger than the Bible because they have written for so many years. Always writing. All go. Tell your neighbor, please go. Please go. We don't mean you should go <laughs> travel somewhere. We mean go with what you have written. Correct? Yes. Go. Put action. Do what? Action. Tell your neighbor, smile, soft smile. Faith without work is dead. Is it not true? Yes. Go with it. Do what? Go with it. Do what? Go with it. You read it. You saw it. Go with it. Put action to it. Amen. Amen. That's it. Praise the Lord. Preach on. That one. That one cannot be a photo. Action. What? Action day, vision day, vision day. You see, it's very hard to talk about the vision day without talking about the visionary. It means the people whom God called and spoke to and gave the vision of World Salvation Center. 
it's very difficult for you to talk about the vision without talking about them. So, the very first thing I want every one of you to get, every one of you to understand and comprehend is, I and Joanna got married because of this vision. Understand this. It is not that a man needs a woman and a woman needs a man. That's not the reason we joined. We joined for the purpose of this ministry, the purpose of this church, the purpose of this movement, what God has started here in Bangalore. We joined together for it. So people keep, to, people keep asking me, you know, don't you miss your family? <laughs> the food, African. It's a matter of like. It's a matter of purpose. It's a matter of purpose. purpose. Reason. Don't you miss them? Don't you miss Africa? Well, one can feel I said this to say that not that African dish is not nice. Not that Africa is not good. Boy, if I want to put my will I would have done something else. But purpose drives your life like fuel, petrol. Did you hear me? Every other thing will be surplus, will just be matter. Just be an object that has weight and occupies space, that's all. Apart from purpose, there is no meaning in life. Did you hear me? So, it was purpose, God's purpose, that we get married and get married based on this vision. So, it's not about how the food tastes, how the people are. Or do you miss it? Do you miss your nation? Do you miss your sisters, your brothers? Not about that. It's about purpose. It's about? It's about? The spoon. Uh, lots of time when you teach like this and preach like this, people, uh, you know, they may not find it a little uh, spoon. They want you to you know, do some drama. No. This is about your life. This is about your purpose. Are you there? You must find your purpose. And we're not too young to find our purpose. We're not too old to find our purpose. They used to say, well, there is light, there is hope. True or false? There is hope. Find your purpose. So Habakkuk said, Habakkuk said, See, let them go quickly, correct? Let them go, run with it. Another version said, run with it. Then look at verse 3. He said the vision is still for fixed time. Another version said appointed time, a specific time. The vision is still for a fixed time and it is moving quickly. It is moving quickly to the end. And it will not be false. Another version says, even though it tarries, one version says. It will not be false. And even if it is slow in coming, go on waiting for it because it will certainly come. It will not be kept back. It will not be kept back. It will certainly come. What is vision? Vision is what I see myself becoming according to my purpose of living. Vision is what I see myself becoming according to my purpose of living. I cannot send my child to a medical school and be imagining he will become an engineer. What do you think? Is that correct imagination? Is that correct? Welcome back. I believe by the grace of the Lord that the Word of God is touched and blessed your life and you've known the key things or you've seen what it is to have a vision and how the ministries operate in vision. I repeat in arts chapter 10 was God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power. Immediately he said, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. This was his mission. This was Jesus' mission. He went all about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Saints, wherever you are, whatever you are passing through, 
I say this to you. God wants to touch you today, feel you today, heal you today. In whatever sickness or disease, whatever situation you're passing through, right now, as you believe, at the sound of my voice, you can rise up from any kind of pain. You can rise up from any kind of difficult situation. It doesn't matter what people have said or concluded about whatever you are passing through. God has the last say. If he has not spoken, don't take the words of men or doctors to be final. You will not die, but you live. You will not die, but you live and be strong. Now let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for everyone who is under the influence of your words of eternal life to the lips of your servant. I declare your word. Help them to see the vision of hell to those who are sick. Help them to see the vision of freedom, those who feel bound and oppressed by the devil. Help them to picture themselves free. Help them to see themselves according to your will, according to your purpose for their life. Help them in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, I speak to sickness and disease. I speak to every terminal disease. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, get out from their body. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in your body. Be healed in your bones. Be healed in your blood. In Jesus' mighty name. Be free. Everything that stands against you, that walks as an hindrance and is challenging your faith right now, I speak strength to you. Get up. Act on the word of God that you have received. Hold on the word of God you have received. That's your note of victory. Hold on the word of God you have received. That's your note of your excellent victory. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. That conviction, receive the light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes, you can do what you could not do before. Now you can accomplish what you thought you have failed before. Thank you, Father, for giving them a vision of their health according to your plan right now. Thank you, Father, for giving them a vision of your guidance according to your plan right now. I give you praise, precious Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want you to write us and share your testimony with us, what God is doing in your life, and we will get back to you and make sure we share your testimony with the world. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And that name has been released upon you, and you will never remain the same. God bless you. Jesus is Lord.